Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of our Blender tutorial series. So far we have modeled different shapes using the default cube. Let us start with modeling real world objects. And first let's begin with creating a desk using the default cube. Go ahead and press Shift A together. Mesh and choose cube. Rename it to desk. First, let's model the top portion. To scale it in Z axis, press S and Z and move your mouse. As I move, you could see that the value beside scale changes. Something around 0 0.025 would look good. I will just type in 0 0.025 and press enter. Seems fine. Now I need to scale in X axis to set the breadth. Press yes and X and move your mouse. Something around 0 0.5 will look good. I will just type in 0 0.5 and press enter. This looks better. We are done with the top portion. Now we need to design the legs at the four corners. Now what we want to do is to use the loop cut tool to create few loop cuts on our desk. So we are going to press the tab key to go to edit mode. Then choose loop cut tool from the toolbar and position it in the middle. You can also choose loop cut by the shortcut keys Control R. Press Control R. And once you see this, just left click and move your mouse and try to place it in the middle if you are unsure of the middle area just go somewhere near the middle and right click to loop cut in the middle by default add another loop cut here press ctrl r click and right click the reason we do this is because if we create four legs separately, we have to design it symmetric to each other and moreover it would take much time. So the idea here is to delete three faces and just keep one face and we will make changes to that face and then simply mirror that in all the three sides. Let me change the view to top view by going to view and viewpoint and select top you can also choose number pad 7 to go to top view now press number 9 in your number pad to go to bottom orthographic view Basically, the numbers between 0 and 9 are shortcuts of viewpoints and you can just play around with this to understand the difference between the keys. Now turn on X-ray option and go to select box and now click and drag the bottom vertices and do the same to the top vertices to do that you need to hold on the shift button so that you won't miss the first selection just just hold on the shift key and left click and drag it now the three sides are selected you just need to press x key and choose vertices this leads to one quarter of your desk. Now our idea is to model one leg and mirror it in the other three sides. Press the tab key to go back to object mode and go to modify properties tab, add modifier and under generate choose mirror. And by default you can see that X is selected. You can just click on Y to mirror in Y axis. 
now let us create a leg on the original part and so it will be mirrored in all the four sides go back to edit mode by pressing tab key again press ctrl r and add a loop but before that you can turn off the x-ray option if you don't want that press ctrl r and add a horizontal loop just click move to the end around here left click and add another control r click move and then we need to add two more vertical loop cuts press control r click move left click Control R, left click, move, left click. If you zoom in, you can see that you have a separate face here. And you need to go here and choose face select. And if you click here, you can see that you have a separate face here. The idea is that you are going to extrude this region downwards so that it will be reflected in all the three sides. To do that, you have to go here and choose Extrude Region tool. You will see a plus icon here. Just click on that and drag it down to extrude the geometry. And you will also see that the changes are happening in all the three sides. Now this is one way to create a desk in Blender.